So I work in technology and I absolutely love it. And hopefully you work in technology or perhaps you have a passion for technology and you're wanting to get into tech or get further in your career in tech. And you wanna know what sort of certs, what sort of qualifications, what sort of education should you be getting to get that next job or to get that promotion or whatever you need to get your skills up. We're gonna talk about that today. It's gonna to be really, really good. We're gonna give you a bit of a summary and some of my recommendations. Now these are completely my recommendations. Having worked in technology for a long time, having worked with a lot of technology professionals in many businesses, I sort of have a good understanding of what certs that people should be getting, especially those who want to improve in their server storage, networking, technology, security as well. So we're gonna be talking about some of those today. Before we do get into that, please remember as always to subscribe, clicking on that bell and on the button so you don't miss out on anything or any of the videos that I'm releasing. All right, so we're gonna be talking about certs. We're gonna be talking about what certifications, what sort of qualifications you could be getting to improve your IT career. Now, before we do get into that, um, I will just note that in my description, if you are interested, if you are wanting to know more about technology, I've got a number of pretty long uh, technology educational training courses available for you. Um, some that go into detail around essentially like IT tech toolboxes, talking about servers and storage and networking, interview stuff, what to have on your resume, what sort of skills you should be getting. Uh, you can check that out. I've got courses all around Windows Server 2019, Active Directory, Group Policies, DNS, DHCP. There's Mac stuff in there if you wanna learn more about the Mac. And there's also stuff all around VMware uh, and ESXi and vCenter version seven. So do check out some of those courses if you wanna learn more. So knowing some of that stuff in some of those courses that I've recorded, uh, pairing that knowledge with some certs will help you to get and land that next job or get that career that you want to move into. So the certs that you're gonna go for really depend on where you sort of want your IT trajectory, your IT path to go. Do you wanna move down the systems engineer path, systems admin path? Do you wanna move more into networking? Do you wanna move more into security? They're sort of the two paths that most IT people will go down. Um, now there are others, um, you can get more specialized say in storage, you can even go down the development route and learn more about dev and web stuff and coding and things like that. But we're now focusing just on system guys and network people, right? So these are the two main avenues. Now this is not to say that you can't get certs across both of these. And sometimes I would say, hey, that's a good thing to have. If you've got certs in systems administration as well as network administration, then you have a lot more knowledge. You can fit those two pieces and puzzle pieces together and that actually makes you a much better IT professional. So here's some of the certs that I would recommend for systems people. These are people who deal with servers, physical servers, virtualization. Uh, they're gonna perhaps have some area of expertise around Active Directory, things like DNS, DHCP, group policies, perhaps working with cloud technologies. So if we're focusing on systems admins, system engineers, system architects, uh, even perhaps desktop support sort of people, analysts. You can't go wrong with Microsoft certifications. Microsoft certs are almost foundational when it comes to system admin, systems engineers, etc. In the olden days, or they're sort of phasing them out, you would have your MCSA and your MCSE. These were almost like the standard Microsoft certs for you to get, to sort of get you started, give you good foundation across the Microsoft products, the Microsoft server products. But Microsoft is sort of now moving away from those to more role-based certs, focusing on the Azure, the Microsoft 365 sort of products. So because a lot of things are now going cloud-based, uh, Microsoft has sort of tweaked their certs to sort of be focused more in that Azure, Azure space. Um, so they're gonna be focused on the server components, but give you good over, overall understanding around the on-premise products as well, because they're all, most companies nowadays have, have some sort of a hybrid working environment between the cloud and on-premise. So there's administrator, associate courses, some engineer courses, and a few others. Then within the Azure space, you've also got a whole range of developer certs if you wanna focus more in the development space. 
Others in the cloud space, of course, are around AWS. So AWS is the competitor to Microsoft Azure. AWS, of course, is done by Amazon, stands for Amazon Web Services. And there's a whole range of certs that you can get focused and specialized in around Amazon's AWS. A good one to get is the Certified Solutions Architect uh, cert gives you a good foundation across a lot of the stack of applications within AWS. AWS is its own category, its own kettle of fish. Uh, you're gonna be learning about EC2, you're gonna be learning about S3. There's a whole bunch of stuff that is really, really good for you to know if you're gonna be working in the cloud and if you're gonna be working in a company that is using AWS. Having that cert will help you tremendously. The other important one is around virtualization. Now I'm gonna specialize here in VMware because I love VMware. Now there are others, you've got Microsoft Hyper-V, you've got Citrix, Zen Server, you've got others as well. But VMware is the leader when it comes to virtualization. So getting yourself a VMware VCP, a VMware certified professional is something that is almost essential if you're gonna be working and administering VMware. It goes through a range of topics in the VMware stack. You'll understand ESXi, you'll understand vCenter, and all of the apps and all of the configuration around those products in the VMware stack of applications. So how about networking? You wanna learn more about networking. Now, one of the almost core essential certs that uh, IT people need to have is what's called a CCNA, all right? A CCNA is almost like your basic entry-level Cisco certification for network people, but it's also good for people who are not network people, even people who are in the system space. It gil it'll give you a good understanding, yes, with a focus on Cisco products and the Cisco iOS, which is the operating system that Cisco devices use, but it'll give you good overview around networking concepts, networking terminologies, how subnetting works, and a whole range of stuff around VLANing and other stuff as well. So I would almost say, get yourself a CCNA as a minimum if you're going for a networking position, even if you're in systems, get yourself a CCNA because it gives you a good foundation to be able to connect the dots between networking and systems administration. From a CCNA, you move over to a CCNP, which is more of a professional level Cisco cert and build on the foundation of a CCNA. And of course, once you've got a CCNP, you can then move up to the next one, which is your CCIE, but that's almost like the next higher tiered level uh, for your Cisco certification. Not a lot of people have got this one, but it's really good to have. Now, these come in different types and different specialized areas as well. So if you're going, say, for a CCMP, you'll see that there's a range of different CCMP options available. Then you've got other brands. You've got Juniper, for example. You've got your firewalls. These are a whole range of different brands as well with relevant certs for those. Now, I would say here, you get more specialized in whatever sort of job that you want. I would say CCNA is a good, essential, foundational cert to have. CCMP is good as well. If you're gonna go work for a company that is using Juniper products, or they're using a 40 net range of firewall products, perhaps look at getting certified in those as well because that will give you a foundational and a good overall understanding of the products that you're potentially gonna to have to support. If you're looking at security, one that is excellent is a CISSP. This is a system security professional and it is gonna give you a good understanding around security. You then also can get yourself an ethical hacker cert, certification of ethical hacking. Uh, this one's really good. And, and it's ethical hacking. So it'll give you the techniques, the tricks, the processes, the tools, the understanding around hacking, but from an ethical perspective. So giving you the tools and understanding to be able to assist wherever you're working to prevent hacking from happening. Once you've got those, you can then move more into a management state around security. One that is really good is the CISM, a C-I-S-M, which is for a security manager. These are really, really good. Uh, you will have to be a security manager or at least have management of security for a number of years prior to be able to even commence and get the cert for this. So just be aware of that but it is really, really good. And again, there's a whole bunch of people who have them. It's not super, super common, 
but once you've got these basic security ones, look at going for your SISM. So there's some of your technical certs. Now, if you want to improve in your overall processes, you wanna sort of have a good understanding around some other stuff as well. Other ones that are really, really good to get are the ITIL, which is really a standard framework that is used in hundreds, if not thousands of companies around the world, it gives you a framework around service desk delivery. As you progress in your career, you're gonna be involved in projects to some extent. You're gonna to have to deploy something, you're gonna to have to build something, there's gonna be a project around an office move, a data center move, racking brand new firewalls by removing your old firewalls. There's gonna be a lot of steps, a lot of processes. So understanding project management may also help. So you can get yourself a PMP or even a Prince 2. You can also look at Scrum and having good understanding around these project management methodologies gives you a good framework so that when you are not only as a tech going in and deploying something, but that it gives you an understanding around the process, the, the I guess the framework, the formula to follow, helps you creating a project management plan, your timelines, hitting your deadlines, and talking about budgets and stuff like that. So they're my recommendations, there's a few certs in there. Why don't you let me know in the comments uh, what certs you've got, or what certs you're thinking about getting. Perhaps there is a cert that is really, really important to you uh, or that you think is important that I have missed out on. Why don't you let me know? Let me know what other certs we could be doing and I could record a future video where we can talk about those as well. But that's my list completely, my preference, my recommendations for you to watch today and that will help you in your IT career. Hey, if you did like this video, please like it, give me a thumbs up and as always, remember to subscribe, clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. And do check out some of my other videos so that you don't miss out on anything that I'm releasing around all things tech. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.